Shelly first met Brandon at a pasta dinner at her house in the seventh grade. Shelly did something right because two days later she received an AAM message from none other than at BLT17. <laughs> to Brandon's dismay, at Shellybean825 <laughs> promptly denied him when he asked her out on a date. He then proceeded to not talk to her for 11 years. <laughs> We've come a long way since you denied me in middle school. Following the 11 year grudge, who knew that you coming out to brunch with Steven and me would be the beginning of something incredible. Every step of our journey has been incredible and I wouldn't change a thing. I can't wait to continue to grow our relationship from here. The thing I fell in love with you straight away is how much love and respect you have for the little things. The little acts of love you demonstrate every day. Whether or not you know it, those acts are promises of your commitment to me and to us. You are a rock for so many people and you step up for the people you care about when it matters. There will be ups and the downs but I promise to you that I will always do everything I possibly can to make you happy and take care of you. I will continue to uphold these promises, to take care of the little things, to take care of our love. I will do as much for you and for us as you do for everyone else. I love you, babe. Um, if we're lucky enough to have kids and they end up half as good as you are, we will be just fine. I'm very lucky to have had Brandon as a best friend over the past decade. Brandon's got a great heart. Brandon is also the strongest person I know. I think we can all recognize that Freddie is here with us today in spirit and is very proud of Brandon and Shelly. To Shelly and Brandon, so here we are on this beautiful day at Ocean Cliff across the bay. To eat, drink, dance and wish them well, to have a blast and give it hell. Away, I can't stay. 